Hello, Sugar Free Squad, 40 Free Family. I am back with day 26 of our fasting and feasting journey as we grow through, uh, become spiritually transformed through this 40 day sugar fast that has been impacting our lives in the most beautiful way, in the most beautiful way. So we're here for day 26 and I'm just gonna jump right on in. Day 26 is as for me and my house. As for me and my house. Our scripture today comes from Joshua 24 verses verse 15. And I'm going to read it from the New Living uh, or NIV version that Wendy uh, quotes in the book. But if serving the Lord seems undesirable to you, then choose for yourselves this day whom you will serve, whether the gods of your ancestors, whether the gods your ancestors served beyond the Euphrates or the gods of the Amorites in whose land you are living. But as for me and my house, my household, we will serve the Lord. We will serve the Lord. Um, a couple of things popping off in my head even now. Uh, speaking of the power of choice and how we get to choose, um, that we're not forced. We got we we can choose, and, and Joshua makes a a strong stand for him and his household. He he declares, "We're choosing God." We're choosing the Father. We are choosing faith. And I'm not just saying this for me and just me only, but as for me and my household. Because see, one thing that Joshua knew about faith um, is that, and, 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 and about serving God, is that um, it's, an, it's an influencer. Faith is you can influence so many by your faith and joshua was so confident in the life that he lived in his god that he was declaring this that as i live for the lord it's going to impact my children it's going to impact my children's children it's going to impact everybody in my household because i'm going to first uh, be the home that he resides in. As for, I'm gonna be the first home. I'm not talking about just these walls in this house. Yes, as for me and my household and everybody who lives in here, but it's first gonna start in me. I am his house. That's what I put down here in my in my notes. I am his house. I am his home and and, and the comforter. I'm gonna make the comforter be comfortable and be at home in me, his home. As for me and my house, this house first, where, where Holy Spirit resides, we gonna serve the Lord. My, my members are going to be yielded to him. My mind is gonna serve him. My mouth is gonna serve him. My members, my body part is going, body parts are going to serve him. As for me and my house, we gonna serve the Lord. And it ain't got no choice but to show up in wherever I occupy in my home. Wendy starts to, um, and I'm noticing in these last uh, days of our fasting and feasting, she is shifting our gaze now to more so of what life will live like beyond the, these 40 days. What how will we, how, what did I put, it, put in here? Thinking beyond this fast, how will we live out our transforms, transformed lives beyond day 40? Because I'm telling you, for, day 41 is coming. Day 51 is coming. Day 91 is coming. Day 198 is coming. And the question is, how are we going to live beyond those days? And Joshua shows us that he makes a declaration that as for me and my house, we going to live serving the Lord. We going to live serving the Lord. 
making that choice. Um, she says, make she she says many Christians display this um, on their walls and above their mantles. We quote it, um, but she says, I want to invite you to make this the foundation of how you live your transformed life beyond this phase. Um, I want you to make this the foundation by which you stand on. Every decision that we make, every move that we make, every, uh, every uh, how we be beyond this, let it be on the firm foundation that as for me and my house, in my house, this this temple in which Holy Spirit resides, we going to serve the Lord. We're going to serve the Lord. The Lord is going to feel at home and be at home. And Holy Spirit is going to be at home in me. She says, today, I want to ask you the same question. Standing on the precipice, overlooking your life beyond this fast. Here it is again. She keeps getting us to now start looking beyond the fast to prepare ourselves for life beyond this fast. Because we're going to get at day 40, um, day 41, and you... Don't think that the enemy is not going to say, oh, you can have sugar again. And he's he's going to be looking for ways to get you back, us back to that place to where uh, sugar is on the throne and not the father. But this is where we stand as as for me and my house. Mm -mm. We're not going back to that. Sugar ain't going to be my God. It's not going to be the boss of my belly. It's not going to be the boss of me. We gonna serve the Lord. We gonna serve the Lord. She says, whom will you serve? And whom will your household serve? To whom will you dedicate your home and dedicate your life? Um, on the next page, she talks about, remember, we're not simply after a transformed diet, but a transformed life that has the potential of transforming generations she says our faith has the power to lead our future families to faith and when i read that i immediately uh started tying together something that i always say that god get your glory we are your stories and the truth of the matter is we are god's stories and through the life that he graces us to live um Shall he get his glory out of our life? I thought about how, how true this statement is about how our faith has the power to lead um, our future families to faith. Um, I thought about my grandmother's faith. It was my grandmother's faith. You know, no matter, you know, no matter what, my grandmother introduced us to Christ. And she built a firm, a firm foundation. She she laid the bricks of a firm foundation. I lived in a house where, uh, where, and I was raised in a house where uh, God was welcomed. God was introduced. Um, and I'm grateful to God for that. You know, I used to complain when I was younger and be like, when I get of age, because my grandma had us in church all the time. But at that time, what my immature mind didn't understand was that she really was building the foundation. She was exposing us uh, to God. She was um, making, creating an atmosphere that was conducive for loving God. And I'm so thankful that she did that. I wouldn't be where I am today, I don't think, if my grandmother hadn't introduced us to God, didn't have us in church like she did, didn't have my ear, and none of that was for naught. Our faith impacts households. That's why it, it, it got to start here. It got to start here. As for me and my house, this house this house i'm gonna serve the lord then it spills over into your household um the way that my grandmother raised me taking us to to church and you know having us uh active in in and involved in worship 
uh, using our voice, singing, putting us up front. That stuff impacted my life. And now my kids, my kids see me pray. My kids see me study the word. My kids see me go in a room. They wake up and, and can see me in my word and, and loving on God. That's the seed that I want to pass down to generations. Faith. I want to pass my faith along from generation to generation. I'm about to close this thing. On the last page of, of this, this lesson for today, uh, Wendy says, choose faith. I wrote there, choose the Father, choose faith, choose faith and pledge your allegiance to the Lord. You be the home. As for me and my house, I'm choosing God, I'm choosing faith, I'm choosing the Father and I'm pledging allegiance to the Lord. I pledge allegiance to the Lord, to whom the whole earth belongs and to the faith for which he stands one nation under God, incorruptible with liberty and life for all. As for me and my house, as for me and this whole house, we choose to serve the Lord. Dear Lord, my household and I choose you. Over any other filler, we choose you. Before any other God, we choose you. <laughs> Give us the courage to lead or give me the courage to lead my family to you as I follow you by faith. I do believe, but help my unbelief. Increase my faith as I lead my family members to you. What a privilege to know you and to make you known to those in my family in Jesus name. And that's the thing. I want to know Jesus. That's my purpose. I want to know Jesus and I want to make him known. So as for me in my house, this temple, this, this, this sanctuary, this home, we going to serve the Lord. Happy day 26 to you. And I'll see you tomorrow if the Lord says the same with day 27.